I wasn't able to get that arm off there with the set of pullers, hand pullers. It's very, very tight and not having seen one of these movements before, I don't want to make a horrible mess of it. Now, in actual fact, that looks like it's got, it's got a pin put in it, a bent tapered pin. Oh, hadn't seen that before. Certainly bent over. I'll see if I can pull that out. That is seriously hammered in there. No, it's not coming out all right. Well, we won't press our luck. We'll leave it there. We'll take off the bird perch now. Because it's got rust on it, etc. And we need to clean that. So... It seems everybody is obsessed with screwing screws down and hammering tapered pins in, in, in incredibly strongly. Yeah, that's got him. Loosen it off. Now the bottom one. Had to use a seriously large screwdriver to get enough mechanic advantage on that to move it all right now we'll drop down to our normal size screwdriver and take that off the bottom piece that holds it on Now the top piece. And the wire, the spring wire. Round, runs around the side of the KC and it's been twisted over once or twice. See if we can get a grip on that. And undo it. There we go. Let's come off now. There's the bird perch. We'll now be able to clean that up. This top piece may or may not come off. No, probably not. Oh, it may do, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We'll be able to, uh, a little bit of a pin there that holds it in place. You can see a tiny little pin. Stops it sliding down any further. So we'll be able to clean that up and then put it back together. We're getting ready to put the parts from this cuckoo movement into the ultrasonic cleaner. But before we do, there's a couple of things we've got to do. We have to remove these levers here that attach to the bellows. We'll take the hammer off and we'll remove this rather rusty looking pendulum leader post it screws in so we'll just loosen that with a pair of pliers and then screw it out put it aside you can see it's seriously rusty We'll clean that up before we put it back into the movement. Now, these two levers down here that work the bellows, how we remove those. You'll notice I've got a couple of pins on them down here that work on the hammer wheel there. So what we've got to do 
is reverse them, bring them up so you can see the pins at the top there, then they just slide out. Also super rusty, lots of cleaning to be done on these parts. Now the other bellows, raising lever, take that out, same condition as the last one, the last one we'll take off is the hammer which has got a spring which ties in through that hole there. I'll undo the spring. Might be easy with a pair of tweezers I think if we can get a, a grip on it. There it is. Wind it over. Pull it back through. Gone through there twice. Now we'll pull it through. We actually snapped that bit off, but I'd say that's been done a few times. It got rather brittle. Now the same thing again as the other ones. Lift it up, lift the hammer lever up so that those couple of steel posts slide through the hole. I knew that one's a bit a bit tight and it's got a slight bend in it. I'll push that back and I'll straighten that pillar. You can see the bend in it there. I'll straighten that up a little bit and see if that'll make it easier to get out. Hmm, still pretty tight. I'll pull that back a tiny bit more being careful not to snap it off, but we have to get it out. There we go. I won't take the count wheel off the front of that. All right, that's now about ready to go into the ultrasonic cleaner. We'll use some 30 gauge wire to tie a few of these pieces together. The larger pieces we won't worry about them because they're not going to fall through the, the dish in the cleanup. But we'll put in some of these smaller ones, tie them up, that'll keep them all together. Those two wheels and the fly. You can see how rusty that is down the bottom. That's had This clock's obviously had water on it at some time. You don't get rusty like that through normal use. We'll clean that up once it comes out. Feed that in. There wires. Twist them round. And there's our parts. All ready to go into the ultrasonic cleaner. And of course, the back plate, front plate. Right, I'll take them over, put them in the cleaner, which has been warming up. We want it to be about 30 degrees before we start. We'll run them in there for five minutes, take them out and clean them. Then I'll bring them back. We can see what a difference it's made. These are the parts, return from the cleaner. Front plate. Back plate with a count wheel on it. You can see there's rust there on this pulley. We'll take that off before we put the movement together again. The other pulley, it's got rust on it also. We'll take that off. 
Other than that, it's come up relatively well. And the other wheels. Skate wheel. We'll run over all those leaves with a piece of pigwood and pig them out and make sure they're clean. The three wheels we put together. Well, two wheels and a fly. We'll clean the fly up. Those leaves there are a little bit rusty. We'll go over the whole lot and clean it all up before we put it back together. And that's the maintenance cam wheel. Not looking too bad. Right, well there's all the wheels. Suitably cleaned. Now the next part of the operation, it's getting rid of all the rust off all the levers. If you want to learn how to service, repair and restore 19th and 20th century mechanical clocks, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.